Hey guys, Ellie over here, and I'm continuing right off where we left off in the previous chapter. Basically, the leader of the cryptors being all posh, declaring his victory. Kane is being angry. All kind of stuff. So let's go. Section seven: the other goddess. No battles. I wonder if it's going to be a bit of a time skip, or if it's going to left to continue where where it ended last time. Yeah, time skip. Oh, never mind. It's a flashback. Listen close. Once we make our way into their base, the best case is we find the paper moon and info about the tree without any trouble. But we can't count on that being the case. For one thing, the queen's gonna know we're there, and we cannot take her on alone. Period. She's a goddess who's held on to her power since the age of gods, the embodiment of nature itself. Can't even get a good read on her magical energy. We won't have a chance against her unless we take some special steps. That's how strong she is. All that said, the queen's not gonna kill us. So, we're gonna make becoming prisoners part of the plan. Hmm, that's smart. So he's already counting, he was already counting on that result. Four? Four! So, um, if I understand you, you're saying the queen will move to capture us? That's right. She's like a big ball of pure mercy. She really, truly loves everyone, human and heroic spirit. Once she decides not to kill someone, she won't. She might talk about killing her enemies, but honestly, there's just no one who can threaten her. That's how it went with me. She couldn't even be bothered to fight me, no matter how many shots I fired at her. I may as well have been a fly. She'll never bother with sounding alarms, putting out garrisons, or anything like that. The fact that it's still business as usual around here is proof of that. I get why you'd be worried, but don't forget who I am. I'm Napoleon, Emperor of France. And I guess this was a bit of a mistake in the translation, because he was known as Emperor of the French. Kinda to show that he was he was more for the people, something like that, that I Not only that, I had time to reflect on my failures from when I was alive. So trust me when I say I know what I'm doing. You got it, Supreme Commander. R right. Alright. Oh, it might be kind of a stretch to call this a strategy, but it's what we're going with. So what's the plan to leave the jail then? Is it at me? Is the protocol talking? Hmm, I see. It's someone else? So that was a strategy, huh? You certainly are daring for a master, aren't you? I can't say I mind, personally. But I also can't help but worry about you, so I'll lend a hand. Nani? This is the dungeon, master. We really did end up prisoners. Fo, fo, fo. So far, so good. Well, no, it's not at all good. I'm sorry for putting you through that. We could have avoided that battle with Sigurd if I hadn't been so brazen with my courtship. I really didn't think that one through. Sorry again. Not at all. Your plan did work out in the end. Yeah, we accomplished it without anyone dying. That's true, and nobody ended up hurt, either. My Ortinax doesn't have any critical damage, and it seems like everything is working in order. We're in just as good shape now as we were before we made our way in here. That's nice. So, um... I'm a little hesitant to ask about this, but... Napoleon, are you 
serious about? É, Mashu. Ophelia? Uh, yes. You didn't sound like you were joking about that. Or like you wanted to confuse them. So, did you mean what you... Sure did. I fell for her heart. Well, more accurately, my heart just went out to her. I don't think I had much compassion back when I was alive, but now, it seems like that part of me has been cramped, cracked up to 11. Guess being a servant can be a real pain in the ass, huh? I wouldn't have to worry about feelings and stuff if I, if I were just a mindless battle robot. Anyway, all that aside, I'm well aware she's a cryptor. I know they're using the trees of emptiness to prevent the continuation of humanity and that we'll have to take them out eventually. I know all that, and even so, I'm siding with you too. I won't betray your trust, I won't stop fighting until we've saved proper human history. Fo? Fo? Oh, you believe me, Pupper? <laughs> Easy there, boy. I guess I did say I was okay with dogs, didn't I? <laughs> Hmm? Not all the marks I left on history were glorious. I made a lot of bad decisions, too. Like the one that resulted in the destruction of my Grand Armée. I wonder, is it Grand Armée? I wasn't very good to the, to the woman I loved, either. They must hate me, and I don't blame them. You mean, your first fiancé, and Josephine, your actual first wife? Yeah, they were both good women. I promised them I'd make them happy, then I went and let them down hard. I'm the worst kind of guy around. Oh, and what about my last life? Maria Luisa, or the lover I took when I was exiled? Was I able to make them happy? I honestly couldn't tell you. But, I don't pretend the past never happened. If humanity goes away, everything else will follow. Everything. It'd be great if we all lost what we, if all we lost was just sadness and tears. But that's not how it'll work. Everything, good and bad, will be gone. Forever. My own glory doesn't really matter now. But to see all the joys, hopes, and dreams people have held throughout history disappear. Well, I just can't let that happen, now can I? Anyway, since I'm sure you still got some concerns, why don't we go ahead and make it official with a temporary contract? Are you sure? We might have to kill Ophelia. <laughs> You're a good woman, Private. Did you forget about my sympathies for one of our enemies already? I really don't like the idea of betraying anyone, but I also can't deny that I've fallen for her. In which case, it only makes sense to have some insurance. So yeah, go for it. It'll make me feel better, too. Love to stand to drive a body mad, you know. Not that I'm one to talk. Alright, Private, let's do this thing. I accept. There, now we have a temporary contract. That was easy. Oh, yeah. oh ho! Looks like my spirit origins is, is in even better shape now. This is great! Once again, it's good to be fighting beside you, Matra. Fo! Fo! <laughs> you happy about this too? Ah. Oh. You really are a good boy. So, now that the contract's in place, back to the plan. We're prisoners now, just like I expected. So this is where we set about taking back the Paper Moon and gathering info on the Tree of Emptiness. If we had an assassin on hand, we could have them sneak in all stealthy-like, but since we don't... I think we'll just have to go with a feint. I'll draw their attention as much as possible, while you... Fo? 
Senpai? Senpai, you're pale. It looks like the same thing that happened to you at Kalia a few times before. Dream event experience? Excuse me, Senpai, but I need to run a quick emergency medical diagnostic while... RIP Senpai! And we're fighting. Support only? Who is this? Well now. No. If it's support then... This one is also good. But this one will help me live longer, I think. Let's go with this one for now. What am I fighting? Hmm? What's that? Well, well, we don't see your kind tumbling down here every day. You definitely didn't come down here of your own accord. You clearly fell down. <laughs> they must have taken advantage of a flaw in your temporary contract. Nani? They were able to forge a connection with you with no problem, but you must have fallen down here when you weren't able to make it to the dream. Dan? Dantes? Heh. <laughs> I suppose this too is fate. It's Dantes, right? Don't push yourself too hard. That's it. You don't know me. And he's doing his usual tsundere thing. There you go. Just forget about it. Regrets and voids that gnaw away at people in their dreams are my query, not anyone else's. And he's smoking. Now then, if we're going to send you back to the way you came, We'll have to start by burning these things away. It, it helped you could form your sense of self soon, but that might be asking a bit too much. Stand back. Hmm. So I guess we're using Dantes? Mm. Mm, let's see. And begin. For I'll just focus on building up his NP, I guess. You know what? I actually wouldn't mind getting him one day. <laughs> Apparently he's going to be on raid up during the summer event, but I'm not sure. I do have a bunch of quartz, but I'm also saving for... A certain character that will come out with it. Lots Lost Build 3. Hint hint. He's super fabulous. <laughs> no, and I just noticed. He, he is actually taking a bunch of damage. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Make him crit. He's so cool. Hmm. Nothing bad actually. Yes. 
Sore de i. Sore de i. This should be enough. Yeah, they're dead. Banga Yukuma won't soon no Kanata. Nasaka wa kaken. Zonbun ni kuchi hata yo. Too easy. What is this place? A dream. Closer to a nightmare, really. Once you wake up, you'll forget all about this place. But don't drop your guard just because it's a dream. Your soul and sense of self fell down here. If a beast sinks its fangs into you, it'll rip open your sense of self. If one tears you apart, your soul will just plain disappear. But why is this happening though? So if you want to make it out of here alive, hurry. Crawl along the path that brought you here and talk to the one who invited you to this dream. Go on, Ritsunon. Escape the darkness. Who, who invited me? Eh, why not? So in that case, since I don't have any quick support, so I'll just go for the same team, but put the archers in the back. Hopefully I'm making a good decision, but if I'm not, well... I guess that's just how life works. If something goes wrong, we can retry, I guess. The game, I mean. Should have used the taunt. No, never mind. Hmm, all the buffs landed, actually. That's nice. Get the rid of these guys first. Now this would be a good turn to use her first skill. Actually, I will. For someone who's not supposed to be a DPS, I guess it's okay. Plus she had no buffs other than the crit one. Ah, why do the Edmund do that? The art cards are always somewhere else.
One more turn and we'll have Anderson's MP back. Actually, let me try. Let's see if I can get overcharged. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Then I can just use all the MPs at once for whatever's coming next. Pointless that I used uh, his star, his star gain skill, because I didn't even use his crit. My my phone ran out of ran out of storage, so I had to stop things for a while and move and move the files out. Should be fine. <laughs> DPS smash. <laughs> Damn. Ish spells going on for a long time. And peer damage. I think in the long run the damage is more important right now. Also I just want to get this over with. Let's 
This is break. Ignore invincible. It's not ignore defense, but oh well. It is a crit up. And that's not what I wanted to do, but never mind, I guess. Come on, crit. Yeah. At least. At least we're done now. Well, well. You found the power to summon your heroic spirits, even though you are stuck in a dream. Good. That means your sense of self has grown stronger. Remember yourself. Be very, very aware of who you are and keep moving forward. Come, onward. Another fight. And... Hmm. Edmund is nice, but... Actually, I can still go with him, I just have to switch up my party. Then go for something else. We're here. Imagine opening your eyes. Sense those who lack form with your soul. Rejoice. You have arrived. Yorokobe. He Hello! What? Hello, Herak. Can you see it? Isn't that... That's right. You already know what that thing is. It may possess gigantic power, but it was power that belonged to a human. Demigod. It is a hero among heroes, one who turned to supernatural beings to lay claim to glory. Whoever invited you to this dream would seem to be a truly fascinating individual. Let's -a go. There is no path leading backwards. If you are to proceed, you must defeat it. Now if it's Herc, if it's just Herc, then we should be fine. Even if he uses evade. Oh. And he's got a... Well, I wasn't expecting that. I just hope it's not going to restore his health bars to full health. Oh boy. Oh boy. I didn't want to use... Robins Pierce yet, but Mattaku 
That's the cooldown, six. Mm. Oh, well, I do have this one. Oh, and I forgot he has evade, so using Dantes is. Ah, I could have just gone for an art. <sighs> oh, fooey. <laughs> Still poison. That's good. Rip. Debuff resist to go off. Three more lives. Ah, should have chosen a little Why not? DPS smash you. DPS smash you.
Good work, Berserker. Thank you for protecting me. You've been such a good guardian. But it's okay. You can rest now. Please let her pass. Hmm? The girl? I see. That voice you heard is not meant for my ears. It belongs to the one who invited you into this dream. Your soul and sense of self return to the dream the moment you destroy that guard's phantasm. From here, you must continue on alone. Do not look back. Haha! <laughs> Don't make the same mistake Orpheus did. Crows? It's those birds again. Good evening, Vitsunan. I'm so glad I finally got to meet you. Oh, but I'm sorry it had to happen this way. While you were in the middle of making your temporary contract with the archer, I kind of went and forced my own connection in, too. I think that's what made you tumble into that strange place. But you made it out, and now here we are. I'm so glad you made it. I think I have an idea now. Hmm, who knows? I certainly don't. You see, I'm someone with a deep bond to the Holy Grail. Yeah, it's definitely her. But I'm not actually that person entirely. They say heroic spirits don't usually retain memories from their lives. And that definitely applies to me. I barely remember anything. I'm a droplet. A tiny, tiny droplet that dreamed from someone who touched the Holy Grail. A fragment of a self and a soul that was given form. A spirit origin. I am. An alter ego. My name is Sitonai. I'll end things with her here and I'll continue more tomorrow. So I hope you guys all have a nice day and stay safe.